So today we're going to use PowerScripts from C prime to basically add security to a field instead of an issue or the project itself. And we're going to do that based on user roles, just like you would normal security, I guess. So I've added myself to the developer role and we'll use me as a test. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new script file and um, we will call it something like that and let's give it a description So, I have this fruit field. Let's go ahead and try to add or hide that. All right, so getting the um, the ID, which is down here in the link, one zero seven one 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 zero seven one one. So that's what we need. Write it down here so I don't forget. Just a few one zero seven one. All right, so that's what we need. So how do we do that? So first of all, this script is going to run every time a screen loads. And normally you would do something like specify which screen you want your action to occur on. But really we want it to occur on all actions. So we can just skip that part and have it execute all the time. So that makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to use this is user enroll function. We'll copy this. And we can just say if is user enroll. And we always want it to be the person using Jira at that moment. So we'll call it, you know, we'll, we'll call the current user function. Uh, let's say for this example, we want it limited to just our examples project and um, developers. All right. We could say it's false. I think it's really what we want. And we'll use the LF hide uh, function, which will hide the field for us if they are not in the role. And that's it. All right, hide field from role. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go into live fields, and I have one set up for the examples project already, but I'm going to change the script that it's pointed to, and I'm going to call it, or I'm going to point to the hide field from role. Now, let's see if it worked. When I hit edit, 
I see it because I'm in the role. So let's take me out of the role. Refresh page. Oh, I saw it go away. It was right, right here and it went away. So now if I hit edit. Scroll down. Fruit's gone. So that field is hidden. So does that mean I've essentially enacted security on that field? Well, no, not, not exactly. Uh, it's going to be very, it's going to be much harder for users to know that it even exists, uh, but it is not gone, gone. Um, for example, I could just come into this view and add, add it as a column. There it is. And if I wanted to edit it, it would be very hard to do it um, the normal way because we're hiding it from the screen. So if it's hidden, they can't edit it. Um, but if they really wanted to, um, they could do a bulk change. It should be there. Yep, and there's fruit. Um, so it's not like real security, but again, it is hidden, and uh, you know if they never know about it, they won't know to change it. But yeah, there it is, gone. So that's how you can hide fields and kind of create a pseudo. Uh, issue or field-based security uh, using PowerScripts. Thanks for watching.